humans are attracted to motion, which Bootstrap 5 carousels deliver well. But we can use them for more than just the big hero sections of our website. They work really well in sidebars to display a lot of content. It's time to apply. Now, the typical Bootstrap carousel cycles through a series of images and is almost always used at the top of a page with a big image. But if you take a look at my site, you can see that I'm also using them to call attention to some content on the sidebar. Let's take a look at how the carousel works because it's going to be important to some of the adjustments that we're going to make. Now, you can insert as many carousels as you want using Bootstrap 5 as long as you include an individual ID for each one. Although they'll work without the ID most of the time, some of the interface elements like controls and indicators will get confused. If you add a slide class, then the images will move from one side to the other. You can also add a carousel fade class in addition to the slide class if you want the items to fade from one to the other. The captions go in a container called carousel caption. Now there's two types of controls. The ones at the top are called the indicators. They're in a container with a class of carousel indicator. And you can see here that there are a series of buttons. Each button has the ID of the current carousel. This is very important so that Bootstrap knows which carousel to control. At the bottom, there's a couple of additional controls that are the buttons. You may notice that the images aren't exactly the same proportions and therefore not the same heights. To fix that, we'll use a trick that we talked about in a previous episode. Now let's go to a slightly different version of our carousel. This one just has a little bit more copy at the bottom so that we can see how it fits within the sidebar. We're going to float the carousel to the right of that text. To take care of this, we'll start by targeting our carousel ID. We'll go ahead and set this to display inline block. We'll go ahead and float this to the right and we'll set the width of this particular carousel to 800 pixels. I'm also gonna add a little bit of padding to the left of this carousel. Now you can see that the carousel is to the side of our content. Using object fit and object position with the overflow hidden property makes the images center with the same proportions. I can also set the height of the image to whatever I need. Now you can see that the images are the same size. Now that's useful, but as you can see, the sidebar's text is being displayed on top of the image. That's not good for our sidebar. All we have to do is remove the carousel caption from the captions container. Now you can see that the text appears underneath. Now the arrows and indicators are still there, but they're not positioned in the right place. To fix these, we'll need to position them manually based on the size of our image. Now this will place the image and the arrows in the proper place. You're gonna need to calculate these manually and make sure that you adjust the height and the margin. Otherwise they will run on top of the text. One of the newer features in Bootstrap is the ability to take a link inside a component and stretch it so that it covers its container. All you have to do is add a stretch link class to the link and it will travel up to a container that has a position relative property. I'm also going to add a text decoration of none to get rid of the underline as well as a text secondary class to make the text gray. This sidebar carousel has all the same options as the regular Bootstrap carousel but it's laid out a little bit different. It can be a great addition to your next website. <music>